Alright softball fans, here's the Dean Marinis, uh, the one, the geezer, the juggernaut. How much does how much does the juggernaut supposed to weigh? Sticker bite is supposed to be twenty-seven ounces. Uh, twenty six point eight. That's pretty close. Now let's see what the uh, swing weight is on it. Sixteen point two. All right. The geezer is supposed to be a twenty eight ounce. And twenty nine point eight. Let me see. 29.8 on the geezer. That's all. Let's see what the swing weight is. 16.04. Let's check the one. I don't know what it said it was. It weighs 26.6. Uh, .6. And the swing weight is. 16.02. Uh, Bob's going to do the magnet test on this uh, bat to see uh, where if there's any metal in it. The combats have a, a metal, a lot of them right in the middle of the handle, and that one's got metal way up there at the knob, as you can see. All right, now we're going to do the uh, flex test. Okay. When we do this test. Uh, we do the handle at 80 pounds of stiffness so that we've got you know the handle the right on um, each each bat and, and this bat has only got uh, one layer of tape on it or none so uh, you know a spongy grip is not going to uh, change the results and uh, now go ahead and let's see what the uh, how many pounds it takes to uh, this is our this is set a half inch so we're going a half inch and you see Bob's way out on the end just as soon as it touches he's gonna stop right it's uh, about 17 17 pounds drop one more time just for duplication Right, and again, 17 exactly the pounds. same. 17 pounds. So the the stiffness on the handle of the Demarini the one is 17 pounds. Okay, here's the uh, geezer, and he's got it in there at 80 pounds, and he's resetting the dial on the force gauge, and there's the touch, and ten. that handle is 10 pounds. Do it again, just for uh, see if we can reduplicate it. I want to make a good test. Okay? It's and eight and a half pounds that time. Let me see. Let's do it one more time just to. Yeah. There you go. Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Ten pounds, is... Ten pounds on that handle. Okay? Now we're going to do the, uh, the juggernaut. Once again, one layer of. Oops. There's your blooper, folks. Blooper. <laughs> Once again, one layer of uh, athletic tape on there, and um, this is the tricky part. That's 80 pounds, and now we're going to see uh, what the flex is on this ASA juggernaut. All right. 10 pounds again. Ten or eleven. Do it one more time. There's the touch. Just over ten pounds. So what we've got is, and and Dean Marini started uh, putting the flex on their bats. Uh, the flex number on uh, the the juggernaut is uh, three point five. The flex on the uh, the geezer is 3.5 and then the flex on the one is 4.1 uh, and it's it's hard to see you're just gonna have to trust me but even on the barrel the graphics say 4.1 uh, 
4.1 composite. So what they've done, they've tried to make a stiffer handle and they have. The handle on that bat is uh, 17 pounds. Uh, it's still, in my opinion, not stiff enough for me. Um, the, uh, the Freak is 23 pounds, I believe, so uh, the launch is around 25 so the stiffer handle for me works better but uh, they're going in the right direction and uh, now we're going to go out and test some distance all right we'll talk to you bye all right here you go folks the uh the 28 ounce pst uh, short shell was um 11 pounds, the Juggernaut was 11 pounds, the 20 year old Worth Lighthouse single wall aluminum was 14 pounds of flex, the Boomba Combat demo bat was 15 pounds, the Mike and Recoil was 20 pounds, and the Worth Launch senior bat 510 was 24 pounds.